Greetings to you wherever you are in this world. This is Michelle Strickland, and this is Kicking It on the Chase with Shelly. I'll be pre-recording and releasing it on Saturdays until after the first of the year. I'll bring it back later. I'll go live later. There's really not that much of a, a draw for that, but I get, you know, whoever wants to watch it will, usually catches it when it's been recorded anyway for now. I'll come back with it live later. It's just easy right now for me to just go on and do it like this. Anyway, I'm developing this channel into a channel where it can be people communicating with each other from all over the world. Like a kind of like a, a, a you know, a channel for people, a community, a community uh, chat, you know, where people can just talk back and forth about whatever's going on in their area. Because maybe somebody will be listening in your area can benefit from whatever it is that you have to, to say, you know. So, but right now, i just been kind of talking about, because it's a Saturday and, stuff, Saturday and stuff like that, I've been kind of talking about dating tips and stuff like that. But this channel can also be a channel for, for, uh, for families and parents to talk back and forth with each other, too, about the types of techniques that they use to to raise their kids and what seems to work for them and so on and so forth. Just pass information back and forth. But right now, I've just been just going over dating tips. So uh, I'm trying to give you some tips, you know, that you can use where you can keep your integrity about you, you know, where it's not going overboard. But it gives you both an opportunity to get to know each other in a wholesome way. Okay? Be authentic. Be yourself and don't try to pretend to be someone you're not. Communication is the key. Listen actively and express yourself honestly. Set realistic expectations. Understand that not every date will lead to a long-term relationship. Stay positive. Approach dating with a positive attitude and an open mind. Take care of yourself. Prioritize self-care and personal well-being. Don't rush things. Let relationship, you know, develop naturally. Be respectful. Treat others with kindness and respect regardless of the outcome. Avoid playing games. Be straightforward and avoid manipulative behavior. Learn from past experiences. Reflect on previous relationships to grow and learn. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Embrace rejection. It's a natural part of dating. Don't take it personally. Have fun. Enjoy the process in the company of different people. Be open-minded. Be willing to step out of your comfort zone. Maintain independence. Don't lose sight of your own goals and interests. Learn to compromise. Relationships require give and take. Practice patience. Finding the right person can take time. Don't settle. It's better to be alone than in a relationship that doesn't fulfill you. Build a support system. Lean off friends and family for advice and support. Build us. Um, I mean, I said that. I'm sorry. Stay safe. Meet in public places. Let someone know where you're going and trust your instincts. Stay positive about online dating. It can be a great way to meet new people, but watch them people because they are a lot to you. And they'll show you pictures, the old pictures of them that aren't current or that aren't them and don't let anybody drag you you know don't take them seriously if they can't be able to do video chat with you don't even take them seriously no, I'm just going to say that I wouldn't no be honest about your intentions communicate you know what you're looking for in a relationship learn from mistakes don't dwell on them. Use them as opportunities for growth. 
Celebrate your singlehood. It's a valuable time for self-discovery and growth. There's nothing wrong with being single. It's better to be single than with be miserable. You know, don't settle for less, you know. Just learn to love yourself more, that's all. Now learn to appreciate yourself and be thankful you don't have, if you're single, that you don't have all that madness you have to deal with. You know, wait for somebody that you feel comfortable with. You know, that's going to meet you where you're at. Don't compare yourself. Everyone's journey is unique. Keep a sense of humor. Dating can be awkward, so a good laugh can go a long way. Activities for couples getting to know each other. You know, go for a nature walk or a hike. Do that in public places, though. Don't go some isolated place where there's no one. Don't do that. You know, wait till later, a long time before you do something like that for your safety, okay? Cook a meal together. Be careful of going over people's house. Just be careful and cautious about that. Collaborate in the kitchen and share a meal you both enjoy. You know, once it progresses and stuff like that, and you built up trust and things like that. Visit a museum or art gallery. That's a nice one. Explore cultural interests and discuss your impressions. Yeah, you know, I love going to museums sometimes. Take a dance class, learn something new, and have fun together. Well, people do that. Attend a workshop or a class. Pick something you're both interested in, like pottery or photography. Have a cookout in the park. Pack some snacks and enjoy a relaxed day outside. That sounds cool. You know, something, something fun. Play board games or card games. Foster friendly competition and enjoy each other's company. A lot of people like doing, playing, you know, board games or card games. Explore farmer's markets. Shop for fresh produce and enjoy lo local offerings. You know, once you get to know each other, if you met each other there or something like that, be careful though, you know, being together. Wait till you get to know somebody, you know. Volunteer together. Give back to the community and bond over shared values. That's really a good one. Giving back to the community is always important. Visit a amusement park or fair. Have fun and let your inner child out. That sounds fun. I love fairs. I do. I think they're fun. Take a day trip to a nearby town. Explore new places together. Once you get to know each other, you know, something like that. You know, why not? Attend a live performance. Whether it's a concert, play, or comedy show. Enjoy the arts together. Yep. Go stargazing. Find a quiet spot and enjoy the night sky. Be careful of that, you know. Because you don't, you don't want to be in a situation where you compromise your integrity. So just be cautious of that. Try a new sport or activity. Visit a, a trivia night. Have a movie marathon. You know, pick a theme or a series you both enjoy. Explore a bookstore. Visit a brewery or a winery. So be careful with that. You might want to have a driver or something like that if you're both going to be drinking. You know? So be careful for that. That's an easy thing if y'all want to do that. Just be careful. Make sure you have a driver or something like that so you don't have to be driving or something like that. Take a cooking class. Visit an escape room. I definitely want to try to do that. I do. I want to try that. Attend a workshop on relationship building. Once you get into a situation where you think you all want to be serious, that's not a bad idea. If you real, if, you know, if you're trying to be for real about each other, I don't think that's a bad idea. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to stay on here. I just want to keep my commitment to the community. I'll talk about various things. I open. I. Encourage open dialogue. I left two email addresses where I can be contacted. If you have any questions, if you need to talk to somebody, you can reach me by by email, and I'll respond to you, and we'll move from there. 
but uh, I remember, remember I want you to smile this day anyway and reach out to one person at a time, one person at a time, one person at a time, okay?